people than the boost in my opinion. Alright guys, and the parkour system isn't as hard to master as reviewers have been saying. And overall the game isn't even that difficult. I mean, let's see. I beat the game in a few days and I mean I did lose quite a few lives but you know what it's not as difficult to master as they say I mean getting S ranks getting S ranks actually pushes you to speed run like an expert a super skill run I mean seriously and collecting all the red rings, I mean, players want to unlock Super Sonic, don't they? I mean, that that promotes players to collect all the red rings. So far, I've collected four Chaos Emeralds. I mean, seriously, this game has lots of replay value. Lots of freaking replay value. I mean, seriously. And let's see. The soundtrack is possibly my favorite soundtrack from a modern Sonic game. This is pretty much my favorite modern Sonic game, but taking the place of Sonic Colors, but just freaking think about it. I mean, the. The soundtrack is very catchy. I mean, we've got jazzy music. I mean, it's just freaking catchy as frick. And we just have orchestral music. It's just freaking good. I mean, what do people have against the soundtrack? The soundtrack is fitting for each environment you enter. I mean, seriously, seriously, I mean, and people criticize this game for ripping off a Super Mario Galaxy. I mean, I, I already know about the Sonic and Mario debate about gravity and, and running on spherical planes. Sonic did the spherical planes first in Sonic 1 in Scrap Brain Zone, but Mario did the planets first in freaking Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, plus Mario into space first in Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins. But you know what? The point is. You people need to stop bashing this game just for resembling Super Mario Galaxy. I I like Super Mario Galaxy. I mean, how is it bad if we have a Sonic game that resembles Super Mario Galaxy? Consider it a spiritual successor, you frickin' fricks. I mean, come on. It's a good Super Mario Galaxy ripoff. There's a difference between a good ripoff and a bad ripoff. And plus, all Sonic Lost World rips off of from Super Mario Galaxy is freaking the planetoids and the gravity and tubular sections and freaking frick. But that's it! Otherwise, it has its own original attributes. So you guys just need to shut the frick up and accept that Sonic Lost World is not a mediocre game. It at least deserves an 8.5 or 9 out of 10. I mean, personally, I give it even higher than a 9 out of 10. I may even review it. But you know what? To all the reviewers, curse you. You're not even professional. You're just bashing the game, you freaking fricks. Get over it. Sonic Lost World's a great game. And seriously, I mean, you know what? At this point, Sega just needs to freaking show all the haters that they can freaking 
overcome them and make a freaking 3D environment, 3D environmental platforming classic Sonic game. I mean, think about it. I mean, imagine Sonic 3 and Knuckles or Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, or Sonic and CD. Imagine that in 3D. I mean, imagine that gameplay in 3D. I mean, wouldn't that be magnificent? But no, Sonic Adventure 3. Oh, I have some ideas for Sonic Adventure 3. How about Dr. Robotnik? I mean, Dr. Eggman creates some shadow duplicates. Oh, or how about freaking Mephilus Returns? Oh, oh, I have a better idea. How about there are some alien hedgehogs from outer space who come to invade Mobius? No! 3D environmental platforming classic Sonic game, idiots! That's what'll improve the Sonic franchise. That's what'll mm, make him popular again. That's what'll get the Sonic series back on its feet. And that's what'll make critics and fans fully love Sonic again. Don't you understand? I mean, I get what it's like to really enjoy games and think that there should be more like it, but have you freaking fricks ever thought about what's best for the Sonic series? Think about when Sonic was doing best during the early 90s. I mean, Sega should go back to that. Alright guys, but anyways, Sonic Lost World Reviewers, frick you, and you know what, this rant is frickin' done. Goodbye, you fricks.